Hiya, Tim. What you doing there? Training for basketball. <laughs> Training? Training is overrated. You couldn't beat me at basketball with all the training in the world. Oh, yeah? What do you say we go out back and have a little shooting competition? First one to five baskets wins. You're on. Get ready to get wrecked. Go! Whoa! Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Journey Today Show. My name is David. And I'm Timmy Bowties. Wow, Timmy Bowties, just wow. I have to admit, I seriously underestimated the importance of training. Yeah, I mean, no matter what you do, you have to train if you ever want to be good at it. I mean, just think about some of the most famous athletes. They didn't get that good just by sitting around. For example, Michael Jordan is arguably the best basketball player ever. He would show up for practice two hours early so he could lift weights. Then he would practice basketball for another two hours. Then he would stay after practice to train even more. And think about Tom Brady. Not only does he train on the football field, he trains in the sand and water too and he even works out twice a day while he's on vacation. And then there's Serena Williams. She's one of the best tennis players ever, in part because she trains for four and a half hours every day. Whoa, that is some serious training. Yeah, and that's just sports. Training is important no matter what you do. You can train as an artist. You can train for your job. You can even train for following Jesus. Oh yeah, uh, that's what Paul talks about in the Bible. He talks about following Jesus like it's a race. That's right. He actually talks about running the race towards Jesus in a couple different books of the Bible. And you know what? I think we should read them for ourselves. So let's do this. In just a second, press pause on the video. Then open your Bible and read the verses on the screen. When you're finished, we'll see you back here. Welcome back, everybody. Running in a race can be a lot of fun, but it's even more fun if you win the prize. Those verses we just read tell us that following Jesus is like running in a race. But to win the prize, Paul says we have to do three things. That's right. In 1 Corinthians 9.25, Paul says we should train for the race. That's what we were talking about before. What do you think would happen if a runner never practiced before the big race? They would lose big time. And it's the same with being a Christian. We have to train to follow Jesus. We have to make time for God every day. In the same way that a runner might stretch or lift weights or run sprints, as Christians, we have to train by reading the Bible, memorizing verses, spending time in prayer, and going to church. If you don't, it's hard to follow Jesus. You'll fall behind quickly. That's so true. Okay, there are two more things Paul says we should do if we want to win the prize, but I think we should learn what they are with a little competition. Okay, what uh, kind of a competition are you thinking? Well, I think you and I should go back outside and have a good old fashioned foot race. <laughs> Have you seen my legs? They're so long, I'll crush you in a race. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of, and that's why we're gonna do a little something to help me out. You know what? Let's go outside, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so the first person that crosses the finish line is the winner. But first, I got a few things for you to carry. A set of snow skis. What? 
That's crazy. <laughs> what? But that's not all. A suitcase. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh my gosh, this is actually pretty heavy. And okay. <laughs> a stuffed dinosaur. What? That's nuts. Everything feel good? Yeah, it's kind of heavy. But wait, there's more. I will be blindfolding you. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Let the games begin. On your mark, get set, go! not fair. I had all that extra weight on and I couldn't even see where I was going either. There's no way I could have won that race. You're right. And it's the same for following Jesus. In Hebrews 12:1, Paul tells us the second thing we have to do to win the prize. He says we have to get rid of our sins because they weigh us down. So it's like we're running in slow motion. Yeah, that is exactly what it felt like when I was running that race. And that's why when a runner is racing, they only wear what helps them win the race. Things like a t-shirt, uh, shorts, and shoes. It's the same with being a Christian. Paul says that sin weighs us down and keeps us from following Jesus. If we want to run towards Jesus, we have to avoid temptations and say no to sin. And when you do mess up in sin, you can throw it off by asking Jesus to forgive you. That's right. And that leads us to the third thing Paul says we have to do to win the prize. In Hebrews 12:2, he says we have to keep our eyes on Jesus. In a race, the runner always keeps their eyes on the finish line ahead of them. If they look to the left, they start to veer to the left. If they start looking to the right, they start to veer to the right. Yeah, and if they're blindfolded, they'll trip and fall on their face. Oh, kind of like you did? Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> but it's the same with being a Christian. In Hebrews, Paul says we have to keep looking to Jesus. If you're always focused on pleasing your friends, then you'll veer to the left. If you're always focused on getting more money and more stuff, then you'll veer to the right. Instead, our minds should be filled with thoughts of Jesus. If you think about pleasing Jesus and getting more time with him, then you'll run straight for the prize. And there you have it. If you do those three things, train for the race, get rid of your sin, and keep your eyes on Jesus, the Bible says that you'll win the best prize in the world. Our Bible verse for today tells us what it is. Take a look at what it says. I push myself forward toward the goal to win the prize. The heavenly prize is Christ Jesus himself. Philippians 3.14. I love that verse. And you know what? It makes me think of a question. What's one thing you can do this week that would help you run even faster towards Jesus? Press pause and discuss. Someday when we die, we'll cross that finish line. And anyone who runs hard after Jesus will win the ultimate prize, life with Jesus forever in heaven. And just like with any race, following Jesus can be hard sometimes. It's easy to get tired. That's why God gave us the church. We get to run this race together with other believers. We get to help and encourage each other towards the prize. Yeah, and more than that, Jesus runs the race with us too. And he gives us the strength we need to finish the race strong. He sure does. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us today. We'll see you again next week. Yeah, bye, everybody. Uh, hey, Timmy, what do you say you give me another chance to win at basketball? All right. Let's do this.